There we go. Hi, everybody. Um, I am wondering, have you ever eaten a bug? Um, you know, there's ants and worms and mm, spiders, grasshoppers, butterflies, crickets. Well, I hope you haven't, although I think there are countries where um, people do eat bugs. But anyhow, I have a Bible story, and um, the main character in it, that's what he eats is bugs. He eats grasshoppers. So let's find out what this story is all about. <clears throat> You will, um, this is about a man called John the Baptist, and you can read about him in Matthew 3, Luke 1 and 3, and John 1. So this story is in three out of the four Gospels in the New Testament. About the same time Jesus was born, another baby was born. His name was John, and God had a special job for him. John was going to get everyone ready for Jesus. The day John was born, his dad knew God's promise to Abraham was coming true. God was sending the rescuer, and he was so happy he sang a song. I don't know, I don't know the verse to this, so I'm not going to sing because God loves us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. Heaven is breaking through. He is sending us a light from heaven to shine on us like the sun, to shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. So John grew up and, well, to tell you the truth, he was a bit unusual. He lived in the desert. He wore itchy, scratchy outfits made from camel hair. He had a big, big, bushy beard and long, long, scraggly hair. And here is the oddest thing of all. He only ate locusts. So those are the uh, grasshoppers I was telling you about. And it says here that's short for big, creepy, crunchy grasshoppers. Which, now this was smart, he dipped in honey. Probably to disguise the taste. So there's John the Baptist. eating his locusts. But God sent John to tell his people something important. Stop running away from God and run to him. Instead, John said, you need to be rescued. I have good news. The rescuer is coming. Make your hearts ready for him. Yes. Get ready because your king is coming back for you. <clears throat> Great crowds listened to John. They were sorry they had sinned and they wanted to stop running away from God. They wanted to be rescued. So John baptized them, which means he plunged them in and out of water. It showed they wanted to follow God and begin a new life. So there they are coming in and out of the water. One day John was baptizing people in the Jordan River as usual when he looked up and saw a man walking down to the water's edge. God spoke quietly to John. This is the one. John's heart leapt. This was the moment he'd been waiting for all of his life. 
Look, John said as Jesus came down into the water, but his voice came out as a whisper. He couldn't make it any louder. It was all he could do to even speak. The Lamb of God, God's best Lamb, who takes away the sins of the whole world. Will you baptize me too, Jesus asked. Who am I, John asked, to baptize you? It's what God wants me to do, Jesus said. So John baptized Jesus. Wow, I would think that would be an honor. Suddenly, it was as if someone had drawn back curtains in a dark room as if heaven itself had opened because a beautiful light broke through the clouds and shone down on Jesus, bathing him in gold. Beads of water glittered and sparkled like tiny diamonds in his hair. A white dove flew down and gently rested on Jesus. And a voice came down from heaven. It was clear and strong and loud so everyone could hear. This is my own son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. God said, listen to him. Heaven had broken through. The great rescue had begun. There's Jesus. There's the dove that came down. So that's how Jesus got baptized by John the Baptist. So for our craft today, of course, we made, we're making a grasshopper. Isn't he cute? I think I might name him Gus, Gus the grasshopper. So he's made out of a clothespin that I just painted green everywhere I could get the paint. And then I took a uh, chenille stem and I cut it in half and I made each half into like an M. Can you see how his feet make an M? Down, up, down. And then they come out just a little bit because of course he has to have feet to stand on. And then for his back legs I did the same thing only one great big chenille stem. And then I used um, some more in a different color of green to make his antennas. And I did Google eyes. So he was pretty simple to do and he's really fun, don't you think? Yeah. So that is our craft for today. So I will be here again on Friday. And um, let's bow our heads for prayer. Good and gracious God, thank you for each of my, my Messiah friends and um, help them to remember the story of how Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. Be with each of my friends and may they have a wonderful evening. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, we will see you um, in just a couple of days. So, uh, let's see. There we go. We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.